much of the last few years of Corbyn's leadership has been marred with controversy surrounding anti-Semitism. This also goes for the wider left as a whole, and in which there has been an internal debate, or rather splits and aggravation against each other. There are some parts of the left who, in my opinion, shot down accusations of anti-Semitism because they believed it was a smear. This sometimes led to a blind spot of anti-Semitism. However, on the other side, there are those that accepted the narrative around anti-Semitism and the left believed that if we just apologise for the entirety of it, then we could just move on, that we would get the approval of our political opponents and get on with trying to get Corbyn elected. Now, we know that wasn't the case. If anything, it ramped up the anti-Semitism crisis. Well, actress Tracy Ann Oberman has been forced to apologise and pay damages after losing the case against historian and the Northern Independence Party leader Philip Pridefoot for falsely accusing him of anti-Semitism. In a now deleted tweet, she wrote, So a man called Philip Pridefoot of Free the North Now has a due block list. I've been out of the Twitter politics loop for a few months, but is this party continuation of Corbyn? Seems like it. And will it end up the same? Seems like it. Good luck all. Now, Oberman issued a statement on Twitter in which she apologised for her comments, admitted that she made a mistake, and she said she has agreed to pay damages. On the 4th of April 2021, I tweeted that Dr. Philip Proudfoot has a Jewish block list. She then wrote, The following day, Dr. Proudfoot explained this was wrong and that he had used a tool to mass block an account I followed that was involved in targeted trolling, which also blocks followers. What we are now seeing is a vindication of some parts of the left in which we rightly said anti-Semitism exists, but it isn't all a smear. But at the same time, Jeremy Corbyn isn't going to fucking bring back concentration camps. This is another in a series of legal cases by those on the left of being falsely accused of anti-Semitism. Now, Laura Murray, a former aide to Corbyn, received £40,000 worth of damages and an apology from the Telegraph after they smeared her as an anti-Jewish racist and part of the vile anti-Semitism of Corbyn's Labour. The man behind the smear was none other than former Labour MP and current independent peer Ian Austin, who has also apologised. Now, Ian Austin quit Labour over anti-Semitism within the party and told voters to back Boris Johnson at the 2019 general election just says what kind of man he is.